Hello, scholars. I'm here to help you with your first grade skills lessons. My name is Miss Jane, and today we're on lesson 18. Let's get started. Today's objectives are to blend and segment single syllable words, identify letter sound correspondences, and decode and spell CBC, CBCC, and CCVC words. First, we'll start by blending and segmenting. Get your fingers ready. Wiggle them out. Remember, when we blend, we're touching our fingers to our thumb. When we segment, we're wiggling as we say the sounds. Let's get started. Off. Cop. Three fingers for cop. Ah. Lay, lay. Three fingers for play. P -l -a. N -o. No. Three fingers for snow. N -o. R -a -n. Rain. Three fingers for rain. R -a -n. Halfway through. K -l -e -n. Clean. Four fingers for clean. K -l -e -n. Trip. Four fingers for trip. T -r -e -p. Ch -m -p. Chimp. Four fingers for chimp. Ch -e -m -p. Last one. Ch -a -m -p. Chomp. Four fingers for chomp. Ch -a -m -p. Great job. Give yourselves a pat on the back. We've got a couple more things to look at from our consonant code book today. This TH says as in thin. Say it with me. Thin. The power bar is almost all the way across, it looks like. That means it's very common for to be spelled with a TH. But this can say another sound, too. This one with the underlined is the buzzy version. Remember, the as in them, say it with me, the, them, th is the spelling for the as well. And the power bar is almost all the way across. That means it is very common for the to be spelled with th. But we have two different sounds that TH can make. Let's practice those two sounds. Let's find the buzzy TH. Listen carefully. T or teeth. The buzzy TH is teeth. Repeat after me, thin, then. The buzzy th is then. That thinks. The buzzy th is that. Theft, them. 
The buzzy th is them. Thud, thus. The buzzy th is thus. These seem. The buzzy th is these. Good job. Give yourselves a round of applause. Even if you didn't get them all right, practicing helps you remember. We talked about this yesterday with our other digraphs. Here, we have a square. Here, we have a triangle. But when you put them together, you get a house. But when they're apart, they're just a square and a triangle. When you have T by itself, it says T. When you have H by itself, it says H. But when they're together, they can say Z or Z. That sounds nothing like T and H. That's why we have to remember that it's different. Here they've got us some ways to write T h and words that have th in them practice writing those words and then on the next page you're going to write the word underneath the picture it belongs to let's read the words together and then you can put them where they belong remember the sound that th can make that's right or th. Let's look at the first word. B a. That one says bath. Let's look at the next word. K o a. Cloth. The third word. M a. Ma. E. Fifth. Like the number five. Fifth. All of these th sounds are the soft th, not the buzzy th. Read the words and put them underneath the picture they belong to. Let's practice some reading. And then, We'll work on some making words, and we'll be all done for today. Remember, when we put two words together, or a few words together, it's called a phrase. Just like this first one, fast ship. There's a space between the words, but it's not a sentence. Fast ship. Repeat after me. Fast ship. The second phrase says two cup. Repeat after me, two cup. That's a phrase as well. It has a space in between the two words, but it's not quite a sentence. This next one has a period at the end. That means it's a sentence or a complete thought. This is fun. It's a complete thought. Repeat after me. This is fun. We've got two more sentences over here. Repeat after me. Beth had some chips. I have one big moth in that box. Good work. Now remember, you put a period at the end when it's a sentence or a complete thought and a capital letter at the beginning. But if it's just a phrase or a couple words together but not a complete thought, you still need a space between the words, but you don't need a period or a capital letter. 
Let's make some words before we go today. I'm going to start with the word bath. B A and then our new consonant digraph. T H bath. Now I'm going to change the first sound to p. What word does that make if I change the first sound to p? If you said half, great job. Now it says half. I'm going to change the first sound again. This time I'm going to change the first sound to mmm. If I change that first sound to mmm, what word will I have? I'll have math. If you said math, great work. Let's do one more. This time, let's change the vowel, the second sound, to ah. If I change the second sound to ah, what word will I have? What does that say now? If you said moss, great job. You're really doing great at reading. Fantastic work today. I'll see you all next time.